Hello, Wagner Vineyard. This Sunday, we celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And instead of arriving in Jerusalem, riding some powerful war horse like the secular kings used to do, he fulfilled Zechariah's prophecy. See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey. And the people put tree branches on the ground as he rode in. These were likely palm branches, which is why this Sunday is called Palm Sunday for most Christians in the Western world. And soon after this event in the biblical story, we find that Jesus wasn't very gentle with the religious leaders who themselves were not being very gentle with the people. Jesus' priority for gentleness with those who are most vulnerable uh, is very, very high. Now, over the past few days, Jody and I have been delivering these cards to your home with a cross made from a palm frond. And we prayed over your homes when we were there. And as Jesus demonstrated gentleness when he entered Jerusalem, we prayed for Jesus' gentle presence to be in your home, filling you with his Holy Spirit and giving you his love and his joy and his peace. So my apologies if you haven't received one yet. Uh, we hope to get to at least most of you by this coming Saturday. And we got these palm crosses a year ago, but didn't deliver them because of COVID restrictions. So even though they're likely a little bit more dried out this year than they were last year, we feel in some ways that they're a bit more special. Like we waited a year under COVID restrictions um, to celebrate Palm Sunday with you now as we're actually coming out of those restrictions. Um, and we're doing this because Jody and I wish that we could worship with you in person this Holy Week, uh, which begins this Sunday on Palm Sunday and ends next Sunday on Easter. And because we can't meet, our prayer is that God will meet you powerfully in your homes. Now, the backdrop of the Easter story that we'll tell next week is the Jewish celebration of Passover. Now, when the people of Israel celebrated God's deliverance from slavery to Pharaoh in Egypt, God originally protected all the firstborn of the Jews from the plague that he had inflicted against Egypt. And by putting blood from a lamb on the doorposts, the plague passed over their homes. And it was this plague, inevitably, that convinced Pharaoh to free Israel from slavery. Now, John the Baptist could have meant many things when he saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But one thing he likely did mean was that Jesus was the perfect Passover lamb. Jesus is the Lamb of God, and it is through his blood shed on the cross that we are delivered from the power of the enemy and from the power of our own sin that enslaves us. So know that as we come to your home, we will also pray for both protection and for deliverance from COVID, from uh, attacks from the enemy, from anxiety, from interpersonal conflict. So may Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, protect your homes, protect your families. May you be delivered from disease and affliction, from attack and interpersonal strife, and may you receive the gentle presence uh, of Jesus into your homes this week with rejoicing, with the fullness of his Holy Spirit. Amen.